Hi guys, welcome to week three. All right, so hopefully you've been following me for the past three weeks and you did the week one, which is key. Week two helps you get better at week one, week three helps you get better at week one. It's all about week one, improving your scores in week eight. Now, if you're a beginner, you can do this. I'm setting the bar high though, and I highly recommend that you have someone lead you through it. I'm gonna lead you through it as much as I can, but I can't touch you. So I can't exactly see your form. So maybe have someone that works out a lot to help you as well, because I want you to get the best results possible. Now, I've had for the past two weeks, I've had people have you guys run on the treadmill. Today, for the sake of time, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you have on sneakers, go for a little jog around the block three times, okay? Or go on the treadmill, run for three, three minutes. Warm up, the three minute consistent is good. Um, it improves your speed as well. We're not gonna sprint today. <laughs> Okay, so again, we're gonna do three circuits, I mean three exercises, um, repeat it three times, um, and then we'll go into the next round. We have a couple more exercises than we did last time uh, because I'm amping it up for you. I want you to be the best you can be. Okay, so we're doing an incline bench press here. So it works your chest, it works your shoulders a little bit. Now, if you're trying to get fit and you don't belong to a gym, I'm a truth teller, guys, you gotta belong to a gym. You, you, if you have them in your buy the bench, get the get the dumbbells. But essentially, you're gonna be spending too much money. And some of these gyms are really cheap right now. When the holidays come and stuff, you get a deal. Get to know the instructor. We let you in for free sometimes. Okay, so 12 reps. We're gonna come down with the dumbbells. If you don't have any, I'll show you one thing that you can do. Okay, so come on down, laying down. Make sure you don't get camel toe. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So. Right here, again, by your shoulder joint, full range of motion, pressing it up and down. Two, three, four, five, six. Why am I doing it? Because I want you to see that I can do it. Eight, I'm not just talking about lifting and having nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? Practice what you preach. Heavy weights <clears throat> gives you this kind of arms. I'm not gonna tell you that doing this for an hour is gonna get it for you. You gotta lift the heavy weights. Okay, if you don't have a bench, fine. So you can do, find, do it on your couch, find a table. You do an incline push-up like this. That's it, that's, that's equivalent thing here. You can also do a decline, put your feet on, on the bench, come down, push up like that, okay? That's a variation to work your chest. If that's too hard, just hold yourself up. If it's still too hard, put your knees on the bench and come down. All right, I just want to set you all up for success. That's why I do this. Next exercise, Superman. Very sexist. I'm going to call it Superwoman. <laughs> uh, get you both. So you're just going to lay down. We're doing a lot of intense exercises. So it's important that you put a little focus on your lower back. It's a very simple exercise, okay? You're laying down. And you're squeezing your glutes, engaging this, not, not stressing your neck, but just lifting it up. So it's like this. Why do you think it's called Superman? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you're holding it up, squeezing your glutes, lifting, the key is right here, that's the focus. Tight butt, doing it. I would say just you know, hold it, count to 30 seconds for as long as you can. I usually do it for about 45 seconds to a minute. It'll feel good tomorrow, I'm telling you. And then you just rest. <laughs> I like it a little too much down here. So we did <clears throat> incline chest, Superman, Superwoman, third exercise. Everyone's favorite, the burpee! So I'll do a variation. You can hurt on this one. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. First level, you're gonna drop down, you know, put your hands out here, step it out. That's it, step it in. Flexibility is important. Get your butt under you. Stand up. Okay? Anyone can do that, really. My grandma could do it. My mom. Okay? Walk down, step up. Next level, you come down, you step it out, you do a jump up, you stand up. Okay? Third level, not <laughs> ninja. Ninja! Editing, we don't have it, we're going live here. So you hop it out, you hop it in, you jump it up. All right? I want you to do 20. I'm gonna do 23 right here. I'm gonna do it quick. Let's do it. Ready? When you mark, get set, go. So it's like this. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
So we did lunges, we did speed skaters, and now we're doing the flies, all right? Let's get super fly. So I'm gonna have you lift a heavier weight. Now for me, this is heavy. They didn't have 12s in here, so we're going on the fly with 15 literally. So I'm gonna do shoot for 12, but if my form starts to get bad, I'll show you, all right? So we're gonna do this. One, two, we're almost there. Three, straight up to the shoulder. Four, five, Six, yep, seven, eight, we're almost there, nine, ten, two more. I'm gonna have good form, I can do it. So, shoulders, shoulder blades back, let's do two more. Eleven, uh, I wasn't so great, but it's fine. So, that was twelve extra, or twelve reps. We're gonna repeat it three times. Lunges, skaters, flies. Final thing we're gonna do, a little tricep, and then the plank re revisit, and we're done. All right? So, we're gonna come over here, um, sitting on a bench, a box, you know, a ball, a, a, a couch, a chair, I don't care, just sit down. Grab your dumbbells, again, heavy so it burns it out. 
full range of motion. I want you to fillet your feet or your hands on the dumbbell, just like this. Yep. People do this, and then they're not balancing out their arms. So you got to equal distribute distribute uh, distribution of your of your hand on the dumbbell. Down, parallel to your ears, straight up. So we got one, two, three, four. We're doing twelve. Five, that's just my thing. It's my lucky number. Six, seven, eight, abs in, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. The good thing about this last round is the speed round. It's just two exercises. So tricep extension, coming over here for the plank. Um, you can use the mat and be on your knees like this, or you're on your feet. I just want you to tap your shoulders. All right, so I'm gonna do it, it's a little slippery, this mat, so I'm gonna do it on the ground. Right here, 20 taps, and we've completed week three. Awesome. So, you're down here, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you can go slow if you want to, nine, 10, 11, see how my back is staying flat, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, hoo -ah. That's it, it was a little longer workout. We did it all. It's gonna improve your week one scores. I'll see you back here next week. Great job.